So there's just no way to get my character to be romantically involved with another character at this point. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about single shipping versus multi shipping. So, before we get into which you should do for your particular roleplay experience, we need to do a little bit of history and definition of these terms. Single shipping and multi shipping are primarily fandom concepts. So, what we're going to do is walk through an example with Remus Lupin from Harry Potter and his ships. If you are a single shipper, you may believe that Wolfstar is the one true pairing for Remus. Sirius and Remus belong together in every single possible iteration of their lives. You typically only read Wolfstar fanfiction and look at Wolfstar fan art. In this case, in particular, you don't support Remus and Tonks. You don't prefer fics that show Remus and Tonks as a couple, and you typically don't follow other fans that post a lot about Remus and Tonks. If you're a multi-shipper, by contrast, maybe you love Remus in lots of different ships. You like Wolfstar, you like Remadora, you might even like rare pairs like Remus and James or Remus and Peter. Mostly, you just want to read about Remus. The particular ship that he's in doesn't really matter so much. And your preferences may fall anywhere on the spectrum of single ship to multi ship. There's all kinds of gray in between. So, all the way on the extreme side of single ship, you might have people that are so into Wolfstar that they think that is the one true pairing. And in addition to that, people that support other Remus ships are their fandom enemies. Or maybe you're mostly single ship, so you prefer Wolfstar for your Remus ships, but you're okay with other ships existing and you don't really see those as a problem. Or maybe you lean towards multi ship, but you're not all the way there. So, for example, maybe you like lots of different pairings for Remus, like you like Remadora and maybe some of the rare pairs, but you in particular don't like Wolfstar. Or maybe you are on the extreme side of totally multi ship. You like any ship for Remus, it does not matter to you. So long as Remus is doing good and it's an interesting story or good art, you are happy. And there is lots of nuance to this continuum. You might have totally different opinions depending on the particular characters, the particular fandoms, or the particular pairings. Maybe you're single ship for some characters and multi for others. Maybe you are multi ship, but only for pairings that are basically represented in canon and you're not okay with fanon pairings. And really anything in between. There is so much variety to how you might feel on that single ship versus multi ship continuum. It all depends on context and your preferences. Okay, so now that you understand where those words come from, how do we apply single ship and multi ship to a roleplay context? In roleplay, your style for the character that you play might be a single ship style or a multi ship style, and this is something that mostly comes up in one on one roleplays, not particularly in groups. For example, I used to do a lot of one on one roleplay as Haley Marshall from the originals, and for that, I played her multi ship. That means anyone who interacted with Haley could potentially be a ship for that character. And I had lots of different ships with lots of different characters and lots of different players while I was playing Haley. Typically, when you have a multi ship character, you will also play them as multiverse. What that means is, say, for example, somebody wants to do a Halijah plot with me, and for that particular plot, it is all contained within that one universe. Other things that I'm doing with other people do not affect the plot that I'm doing with that person for that particular version of Halijah. So, if someone separately approaches me for a Clayley verse, I can totally do that because it's its own contained verse and those two stories do not cross over each other. So, that Halijah roleplay and that Clayley roleplay are totally separate. They have nothing to do with each other, they do not cross over each other at all. Think of this kind of like you're writing two separate fanfics at the same time. So, this style of roleplay is called multi ship multiverse, and this is very common in one on one roleplays, particularly for roleplays where you have fandom characters where you're basically playing that same character over and over in different plots. Now, within that multi ship multiverse style of roleplay, people might have what's called mains or exclusives. 
For example, maybe I'm happy to have Helijah and Clayley going simultaneously with different people, but for my particular writing and my particular character, I don't want my Haley played with any other Elijah. So what that means is that particular Helijah is my exclusive or my main when it comes to that specific ship. This is something that role players often find naturally happens when you have a partner stick around for several months on end or any other long period of time. Essentially, you will become used to their style, you'll become used to their writing style, your character will become used to their character and particularly bonded to them. And what you'll start doing if you try to interact with other versions of that character is subconsciously you're comparing them to that main person that you've been role playing with for a while and hence a main or exclusive might develop where you just say, I'm not even going to bother interacting with other versions of that character. Now, single ship, by contrast to multi ship, is where you are only interacting with a particular character played by a particular person and your character is not interested in shipping with any other character, any other version of that character, any other player. Likely in these cases, you and your character are happy to do plots with other characters, but just not romantically involved ones. So you might look for family connections or friendships or co-workers or things like that, but you're not going to do a romantic ship with anyone else but your single ship. A good example of this for me is my character Ludo. I have been playing this character with the same person who plays Alistair, and we played them together now for seven years. So there's just no way to get my character to be romantically involved with another character at this point unless it's this particular person's version of Alistair. And because they started in a group roleplay and because we've been roleplaying with them for so long, it's just inevitable at this point. Now, for other role players, single shipping might have nothing to do with how the characters are created or longevity. It might just be a personal preference. The benefit of single shipping is ease. It doesn't need multiple verses to work well. If your character is single ship, then every interaction can potentially take place within one universe. So for role players who are a little bit newer to role play, maybe they don't quite know how to keep track of these different things, or they've not been exposed to the idea of multiverse before, single ship is a great easy option. Single shipping is also common among role players that tend to create a new character for each role play that they enter. And of course, if you're creating a new character each and every time you start a new role play, then there's no need to do multi ships or multi verses or multi anything because it's a brand new character every time. Now, of course, when it comes to single ship, you run the risk of if your partner leaves that ship, then you might end up in a place where you don't really want to play that character anymore. So. That's the risk reward when it comes to single ship versus multi ship. So that is my explanation of single ship versus multi ship when it comes to role play. Which style do you prefer? Do you do like me where it really depends on the character or are you always single ship or always multi ship? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious. There's so many different styles out there. I just love to hear about you guys' experience with these things. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.